let's just be honest. There is so much noise and confusion about the coronavirus right now, right? And a potential vaccine. And now we've got two competing opinions about when we can expect it. So this all happened last night, yesterday. Dr. Robert Redfield, the director of the CDC, he's the Amish looking man on the left right there, testified yesterday that a coronavirus vaccine wouldn't be ready for wide use until the middle of next year. OK, meanwhile, the president then contradicted him, saying it could be available in weeks and it would go immediately to the general public. So we want to know from you. We don't want to talk at you. We want to hear from you. What do you think? Who do you believe more, the president of the United States or the CDC director? So all you have to do if you're a new viewer, go ahead and interact with us. Go to dblvote.com and all you have to do is uh, vote and we can talk about it and I'll bring it up at the end. Jeff, where are you? It shouldn't be this hard. Well, there's two things, Tori. One, I'm glad you clarified who was who because I couldn't tell in the video. I, I don't know what Donald Trump looks like at all. <laughs> and, uh, and two, uh, that I don't like our survey here because there should be a neither option as well. It doesn't mean you have to agree with everything everyone says all of the time, right? That's the problem with our society. I think both of them don't know what they're talking about. We have facts. There are tweets. There are statements that the CDC put out that are that are that have been debunked. They thought the virus couldn't even travel. They put it on their website. They put it in tweets that it couldn't be travel airborne. We now know that's wrong. Donald Trump doesn't know what he's talking about either. So my answer is neither. We don't know this is constantly evolving what's going on with this virus and people just keep talking out of the other end of their body I don't understand do you want to make that more clear <laughs> Lindsay, uh, I took a I looked at the US <laughs> News and World Report that says 26% uh, of Americans this is two days ago trust Trump or President Trump when it comes to vaccines that's 52% around that don't how do you feel about that distrust and the confusion well, I understand where he's coming from an aspirational space saying that he thought that this would be done by, I think, Easter this year. And obviously, we're well past that. So, I mean, I think that he's having his best hopes up. I hope he's not just going to contradict Dr. Fauci, the CDC, continuously. Um, but Dr. Fauci even had a different estimation than the CDC saying early next year. So mid next year is like news to me also. I just think we want the safest, most responsible vaccine because, you know, a vaccine that's rushed and incorrect could lead to more problems and issues for everyone that's taking it. So I just think like as much as I understand the urgency, we really want to wait, wait, wait for the right thing, you know? Yeah, maybe let's all just wait to say when it's going to be announced until we have a really good trial. Right. Like, slow like it a down. week out. <laughs> like pump the brakes, son. OK, we have 90 percent CDC director Redfield. 10 percent of you say President Trump. It's, Interesting. The, it's the beard. It was the beard. It was the it non mustache was, it was beard. Yeah. That's what it <laughs> it's was. It's the old Abe Lincoln. Yeah, people go for that. It's very interesting. interesting. All right.